Welcome to today's episode in maintaining your helicycle. Today we're going to take on a task that every owner will have to do at some point in time, and that is adjusting the drive belts that run between the main uh, engine gearbox and the main rotor transmission. These are the six belts that you engage and disengage as part of your startup procedure. The tool requirements for this are pretty small and pretty basic. Uh, you need three wrenches, seven sixteenths, half inch, and nine sixteenths. You need a half inch socket, a, an extension, and a ratchet, and then you need a tensioning device or a, measure, a way to measure the tension, and in this case we just use a regular standard luggage scale that has a big enough range so that you can see that desired range, which is between 40 and 45 pounds. Stand by while we uh, move over to the ship and get started. So the adjustment process for the clutch is actually, uh, and the belts is actually quite uh, simple. Uh, we're going to remove the uh, jack screw mechanism from the clutch arm, and then we'll remove the bolt that uh, secures the clutch clevis to the bottom of the transmission and adjust it in or out as needed, and then reassemble it and test it with the luggage scale. Uh, stand by, we're gonna reposition the camera and get that in close so that you can see what we're doing. So the first thing we're going to do is remove these two bolts that hold the jack screw to the clutch arm. And we do that with our 7 16 wrench. And we go ahead and set those parts and pieces aside. The clutch now can be disengaged from the actuator arm and you can see how the uh, engine moved. So now that we have the clutch arm disengaged, we can go ahead and remove the bolt that uh, secures it to the uh, transmission. Easiest way to accomplish these, this is just to fully engage the clutch. And now we can reach inside and just remove the nut. You probably won't need a wrench to hold the other side with the clutch engaged. So now we've got it loosened and we have the nut removed and we can set that aside while we remove the bolt. To remove the bolt, we're just going to lift the arm back up and then we should be able just to push it out uh, with our finger and all the way through the other side. And we'll just use a, a small screwdriver to push that all the way out. And there it went and fell on the floor, perfect. At this point, we can go ahead and uh, make the adjustment and um, put it back together. So stand by while we reposition and make that adjustment. It's difficult to see back inside here with the camera, particularly once my arm gets in the way, but we're gonna use our 9 16 wrench to go inside and just loosen the jam nut that is on the top of the arm and securing the clevis in place. Once that jam nut is loosened, we can go ahead and set that wrench aside and then maneuver the clevis out of the way. And in this case, um, uh, the last time I flew the ship, 
we had a little bit of slippage in the belt. So I'm just gonna um, adjust this by one half turn, which I've done. And now we're gonna put it all back together. And again, we maneuver the, the uh, clutch mechanism back into position. And at this point, I'm gonna walk around to the other side of the ship and install the bolt uh, back through so that we can uh, secure it all in place. Now with the bolt in place, uh, we can go ahead now and attach our scale and uh, test it and see what it's like. Now in this case, we haven't tightened down the, um, the nut back onto the uh, bolt that goes through the clevis, just in case we have to make one more adjustment. So we have the adjustment made and we're right where we want to be, which is between 40 and 45 pounds. Uh, this particular um, adjustment got us to 43 pounds, which is pretty much right in the center of the range. So that should eliminate that little bit of belt slip that I was seeing the last time I flew. We're going to go ahead now and button it all back up and put it all back together. See you in just another moment. Okay, so we have the uh, nut and the washer reinstalled on the bolt that goes through the clevis. We've also taken the time to uh, tighten the jam nut on, on the uh, clevis itself so that that's all secured using that 9 16 wrench. And we've positioned the uh, clutch arm back into the uh, clutch uh, um, jack screw. And we're gonna go ahead now and reinstall those two bolts and uh, give it a try. Okay, so we have the bolts reinstalled into the arm, securing the um, uh, uh, linear actuator to the uh, clutch arm, just as it was before. And we've uh, checked the travel to make sure that we've got no binding and that everything is working properly and that our micro switches uh, still activate the lights. So this whole job was pretty easy. Uh, took us about 30 minutes total to do it. So something that's easily done in, in less than an hour. Stand by and we'll get you some more, uh, some more maintenance tips uh, in the next episode.